former Illinois football player Mike Hopkins made his mark on the field, but since leaving Illinois' aerospace engineering program, Hopkins' life has taken him to entirely new heights. And I mean that both literally and figuratively. Well, Howard Griffith played college football with Mike Hopkins at the University of Illinois. And Howard, I guess without further ado, when you have a guy who's up in space, you don't waste any time. So <laughs> let's go straight to Mike Hopkins at the International Space Station. Mike, what was it like when you first entered the International Space Station? Well, actually, it was, uh, it was a little bit overwhelming. And uh, to be honest, my gyros were still spinning a little bit from the launch. Uh, when I first got up into, into microgravity, into the space environment, I felt like I was falling and uh, like I was sitting on the ceiling and falling. And uh, when I first got into the space station and, and we had our uh, chance to talk with the families, I actually felt like I was leaning on my side like that. And so it took uh, probably about 18 hours before that feeling started to go away, but uh, absolutely incredible feeling. So talk to me about some of the experiments and some of the science that you're working on while you're there. Yeah, actually there's quite a bit of science going on on the space station right now. And some of it we're very involved in uh, because we're the guinea pigs. So in fact, this morning I was drawing some blood just to see how the uh, immune system in the body changes uh, in microgravity. Other experiments I was also working on this morning was a capillary flow experiment, which is looking at how water uh, flows up the walls of different vessels. And uh, maybe you can use that to move, uh, move liquids around in space and, and also uh, separate it from, from gases. And so those are just a couple of the of hundreds of experiments that we're doing or that are going on up here on a on a daily weekly basis now mike your job obviously makes you very unique in terms of former big 10 football players and what they're now doing with their life but i know you stay in touch with the illinois football program i know from your twitter handle at astro Illini, you sometimes send out messages to current and former illinois players how much do you actually get to still follow your alma mater when you're up in space I'm actually very fortunate. Not, in fact, all the astronauts are very fortunate up here is because we have a, a large support uh, organization on the ground that helps us stay in touch with our families and stay in touch with uh, the, the organizations that are important to us. And so I actually get the Illinois football games are sent up to me uh, every week, so I don't get to see them live. Uh, but uh, while I'm working out, I usually uh, get to watch them. I love it. The fact that he's in space and he's still Great working stuff. out, Rick, that, that's incredible. What are some of the things you do during the off time when you're down on the Saturdays and Sundays beside watching Illinois football? Is there anything else? <laughs> uh, no, actually, that's a, it's a good chance for us to, to catch up on uh, emails. We can uh, take a lot of photos or more opportunities to take photos that we may not have during the week because uh, we are busy inside uh, with experiments and just taking care of the station. And then it's an also it's a good chance we uh, have get to talk to the family. And so uh, once a week I get to talk to Julie and the boys, and uh, it's, it's very special because it's actually a video conference, so you get to see their face. Well, how much fun has it been, particularly for your boys that are, that are young, growing up, seeing their dad on the International Space Station and having a chance to communicate with him. I guess they're the most popular kids in school. Well, I, I like to think they're the most popular kids in school uh, because of themselves and not, and not their dad. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, the kids are... The, the kids are very busy right now. I've got one in high school and one in junior high, and, and so they keep pretty busy with uh, school and sports and church. And, and so, uh, you know, sometimes the days go by and, and we don't have a chance to talk. And, and so uh, it's very nice to catch up with them on the weekend. Mike, when did you know that this was something that you wanted to pursue, not just aerospace engineering and your studies at Illinois, but when did you actually know and feel like you had the possibility to be part of an astronaut class that was going to spend time in space? Well, I actually decided or knew that I wanted to try and be an astronaut back in high school, even before I went to the University of Illinois. Uh, but you never know if uh, you're going to have that opportunity. Uh, you have to get a little bit lucky. Uh, things have to fall into, into, uh, into line for you. And, and it just happened, so happened that it did for me. And I feel very blessed, feel very fortunate to have this opportunity to be here. You know, you had a very interesting uh, defensive back coach, Coach Bernstein. Are there any lessons that he taught you that you were able to use uh, going through life to get you to where you are now? 
Absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, the coaches, Coach Bernstein, Coach Tepper, uh, Coach Makovic, all of them had uh, a big influence on us. And uh, with Coach Bernstein, I think uh, was was certainly, you know, he had a certain fire about him, a certain drive about him, and uh, that's contagious. And and that certainly helps when you're when you're trying to pursue something that uh, sometimes can be tough to reach. You know, Mike, I, I always think back to our times at Illinois, particularly when we were on the practice squad and we were getting banged around. We were kind of the practice dummies uh, for the guys that were starting. And the one thing that always stuck out to me about you is that you continued to go out and play as hard as you could. And we knew then that you were a special player and would be special to the University of Illinois, but had no idea that you'd be able to really accomplish what you have now. And I just want to tell you that you've truly been an inspiration to all of us, including you know the people around the world. You inspire a lot of us, and we appreciate everything that you're doing for the country. Well, Howard, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I remember you ever being on the practice squad, <laughs> but uh, it's fun just to be a part of a team like that and an organization like that and around guys like you. I mean, uh, you know, one of the things I always wanted to be when I grew up was a professional uh, football player. And uh, so, you know, uh, hats off to you and the other guys that made it to the big leagues. And uh, that's, that's, you know, very positive influence to be around you guys. Colonel Mike Hopkins joining us from the International Space Station. Colonel Hopkins, thanks so much for the time and enjoy the rest of your time on the ISS. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I just want to let you guys know that there's still a little uh, orange and blue up here, if you can see, uh, if you can see that. <laughs> we love it, Hoppy. We love it. <laughs>